I really love that your personal IG is Jen of Kin. What was it before then? I think it was the J Batch. That was my my nickname. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, like almost a well screen name style. Yeah. Jen Batchelor, founder and CEO of Kin. Are you ready to answer some questions? So ready. What is Kin? In the most succinct way possible, it's an activated soft drink. Why are you called Kin? Kindred spirits, that sensibility of looking across the bar and being like, this is my person. That's what we wanted to nail in a can. How on earth do you think of this idea? My now, my neurochemistry, my endocrine system, the things that are responsible for how I feel in the moment are never talked about. And so I really wanted to sort of reverse engineer exactly how we get to the feeling of being chill, relaxed, talkative, dancey, whatever it is that we say alcohol does for us. Who actually makes this? Do you have a team of scientists? We do, yeah. Scientists, herbalists, endocrinologists, gastroenterologists, people that are actually you know, looking at the integrity of the stack. And we work with some of the best nutraceutical firms in the country. What's your elevator pitch? Kin makes you feel something. We're the Spotify beverage. Choose a playlist, we'll take you there. You wanna amp up for a workout? We'll take you there. We'll take you to a place of sensuality. We'll take you to a place of focus. And that's the power of music as a drug, and that's also the power of euphorics as a means to feel something. Is this your coin term, or is there a category of things called euphorics? It's our coin term. What in the world made you want to make an expensive, non-alcoholic euphoric? Expensive wasn't on purpose. We didn't intend for it to be this thing that was inaccessible. And as we scale, we're making it more accessible, especially with our RTD products. Premium definitely helped us to earn our top shelf you know, status at the bar, which was our intent. Is non-alcoholic the future of fun? Depends. Are you the first brand in the cool non-alc space? No, certainly not. Do you ever drink alcohol? On occasion. What time of day am I supposed to drink kin? Whenever you want to feel good. How much of the effects are placebo versus real? Does it matter? Can you kin and drive? Absolutely. Can you mix kin with alcohol or does that defeat the purpose? Defeats the purpose. All the ingredients are meant to uplift while of course we know what alcohol does to the system. The reality is if you want to feel good, start with kin then move to wine. There's value in reaching homeostasis before you further imbibe and intoxicate the system. It's just biochemically the reality. How'd you land on the logo? In many ways, the logo landed on us. There's a bit of Arabic calligraphy there. There's a hidden neurosynapse where the I and the K connect. There's a sign of reverence where the I is bowing to the K. I mean, there's so many things imbued in this custom work of art, which is our tribesman mark. Was this something in you that you briefed to a experienced typographer? Definitely. I didn't want it to be something that was a sans serif that really appealed to millennials. I wanted it to be something that could live on beyond this one-shot trend in the, of the zeitgeist. I really wanted it to be something special. What feeling am I supposed to get from your logo? Reverence. You're supposed to get the sense of establishment and fun. Please describe to me in detail who you're primarily targeting. At first it was just primarily targeting myself and now it's uh, a lot of women that have the same sensibility and ideals as I do but then it's also this broad swath of people from Gen Z, the sober generation, to the 80 year old with Parkinson's. So it's vast and I think I'm just trying to target the person who wants to feel something. All right, we are at the Flow Code Flow Card. So this season, Flowcode is sponsoring up with the brand. They're a next generation QR technology uh, that allows you to directly connect with your customers and then they pull their phone up and interact. They go to your own custom flow page. What would you love for Flowcode to program onto your flow page? For us, it's always about people enjoying themselves and talking to, speaking directly to their, you know, experience with the product. Seeing the, the drink in motion is absolutely the most fun thing. So a lot of video, a lot of art, music, something that makes you feel something. I, I look at digital means, whether it's a QR or a billboard or something, any kind of media as it, it must make you feel something. And I think digital has a lot more opportunity there than, than we've even tapped into. How do you make sure your brand resonates and doesn't just ton of check boxes? I listen. What's something popular now that drives you crazy? Woke washing. What's been the coolest moment so far? We recently had an amazing ambassador come to us and share her personal story around social anxiety and how she drinks differently, lives differently thanks to Ken. And that was pretty cool. What's the best part of the job? Being with people that have never heard the story and helping them achieve a new perspective around what's possible. What do you say to non-believers? Skeptics are absolutely the best way into Ken. I want you to question everything and then experience it for yourself. When will you know you've made it? Knowing that if I'm on my deathbed and this brand is still moving forward and changing the world and changing lives, that's knowing I've made it. What's the next milestone you're working towards? Globalism. Who's on your Mount Rushmore? Anyone who has helped me change my mind about something. I really love that your personal IG is Jen of Kin. What was it before then? I think it was the J Batch. That was my my nickname. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like almost a well screen name style. <laughs> yeah, totally.
Now that you have a baby girl, did you already get her the handle next of kin? Ooh, no. Gosh, I gotta do that after the show. What effect has being a mom had on the business? Oh, everything. Everything I do is, is for her. I think about what her friends and what her grandkids are gonna be drinking, you know, when they're our age. What keeps you up at night? What time do you wake up in the morning? My baby girl, Belan, keeps me up at night. She also wakes me up in the morning. <laughs> I love your aesthetic. We coined it Avant LA meets Nepal chic. Can you beat that? <laughs> no, we usually say it's a toe dipped in nostalgia and two arms reaching forward to the future. Where did your aesthetic come from? It's a culmination of things. It's my upbringing. It's my love for the past and things that are tried and true. Even with the experience of drinking alcohol, there's so much of that ritual that's worth preserving, even if you're trying to make a change. When did you have that aha moment? When my dad, who was a distiller of alcohols growing up, was like, okay, I'm drinking this post-workout. I'm drinking this at night. This is worth standing in line for. How much has having your dad somewhat uh, adjacent to the category been helpful to your business? Incredibly, because he showed me the value of bringing people together around drink. He also looked at what we were doing and wanted to make sure that everything that we created wasn't a gimmick, that we were creating from the place of an actual designer spirits maker. So, you know, in many ways, he, he helped create the boundaries within which Kin lives. Jen Batchelor, co-founder and CEO of Kin, thank you so much for coming on and answering some questions. Thank you for having me, Ian. I'm Ian Wishingrad, and I'll see you next time on I'm With The Brand.